Hey, what's going on guys? Pro Skills here and today I have another tutorial for you guys. I know I have not done any of these in a very long time, but we are back to it. Found what tutorial I wanted to do and I just started doing it. So uh, yeah, in this video we will cover how to make smoother animations in Cinema 4D and this will work from anything to Minecraft animations to text intros to just anything in Cinema 4D so that's the cool part about it it's like universal you could use it for anything so uh, yeah let's get started with this so once you open Cinema 4D you'll come up with something like this and uh, what I'm gonna do first or what I usually is what I usually do is go into the render settings change this to 1280 by 720 and now we have that and I go over here and check all frames so this is only for your rendering uh, if you're not gonna render this and this is just a practice then you do not have to do that so what you should do is uh, click and hold right here and uncheck all frames this is gonna make your animations look smoother in Cinema 4D and have it real time so yeah um, also what I suggest you do is well it's personally your opinion but I like having auto keyframing on and I will explain that in a bit on what it does and how it works so uh, let's get started easy uh, because I just want to start off by explaining how to do it then we will get on to animating the Minecraft character and making that smoother animation as well so uh, let's get on with this hit the cube right here and um, I'm gonna resize it by clicking this and bringing it down 70% because it was a little too <coughs> big so uh, now what we do is um, actually I want to change the color of this if you don't know how to change the color just double click right here and I'm just gonna make it plain white and there we go so uh, this is our cube here and what we can do is animate it to move from one spot to another so this is where auto keyframing comes in so if you want this cube to move from this position to you have to keyframe it first and let's say in a time frame of 10 frames you want it to be right here so uh, you will have to keyframe it again so now you can see it moved but if you do not want to keyframe every move you do you check auto keyframing and let's say you want the cube to move from uh, frame 0 from this position to right here at frame 10 so all you have to do is just move it forward and it animates it for you so I like having auto keyframing on for that reason it's auto like it says but yeah okay continuing with the tutorial so to make this cube uh, look better so let's say in five seconds I want it to move right here and what we have is this animation and this is just choppy and it's fast and just boring so what we can do to smoothen this out this super slow animation is or super uh, not smooth animation don't know what I was gonna say there but uh, yeah what we have to do is um, so in from frame 0 to frame 5 this thing like blasted super high speed to here and it just suddenly stopped so what we have to do is just slow in the stop out like smoothen how it stops so what we're gonna do is go to frame 20 and just move it forward a little bit more so what we can do uh, is just let's I just move forward like seven centimeters I think so there they got that slow like if it looks awkward just move it more you got that slow stop to it now I'm just gonna move it forward a little bit more and in you can change the time of the keyframe by clicking and holding and just dragging so there now it like it's super smooth than it was it was before so this is the before and this is the after so yeah, as you can see, that looks way better. And to smooth it out a little more or change speeds and everything, just right click on the cube or you can just right click here and right click or left click on it and then right click and hit show F curves. 
So it'll bring you up with a graph editor like this. And what I like to do is usually have it like, it won't work for this because this is only one keyframe. It already is smooth, but you can just like, so let's say the, um, this is like the keyframe amount and this is like the speed. So it's going to go super fast right here. It's going to gradually slow down and then just go back to the regular speed. So something like, yeah. So like you see it went super fast in the beginning and then it just slows, like gradually goes back to regular speed. And in the back, you have that little effect that it goes forward, then goes back a little, which adds to like a better way of showing the speed. So uh, that happened because we took this and if you see this line right here, if it goes over, that means we made the cube go over the actual position it was supposed to stop at. So then it just goes back. So let me explain it a little bit more. So if I move it this much, it's gonna go far more forward and then come back like that. So um, yeah. That's pretty much it for the cube. All right, so I have this text saying smooth just for no reason. So uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do to animate this is people making text intros, they, you're supposed to have it animated. So let's say someone, let me turn this on or everything, okay. So uh, let's say you want an animation from the text being, I'm holding shift by the way to snap it in. So, Let's say you want the text to be at 60 and you want it to come up at, let's go to five frames, come up right here. So yeah, there you got that annoying, not annoying, just plain old choppy, not really choppy, but it just suddenly stops and it's just boring. So uh, what you can do is go forward frames, like I'm just going to go to 30, move it up a bit more. I usually don't like holding shift for this one because it's I like doing free. So as you can see, this is like way smoother than the regular choppy one. You could always add the F curves as well. Whoops. Make sure you have the thing selected and you're on the timeline and then you hit the F curves for it to work. And we can expand it and we can make it go like inverted to add like cool effects to it. Like as you can see, it went like more, more back than it just stopped. So yeah, pretty simple, pretty simple so far. So let's get into the Minecraft uh, version of it. All right, so I am here in the FMR 5.0 rig and we're gonna learn how to make this smooth too. So just smooth motion, smooth movements and all that. So I'm just gonna set up a pose real fast. Just set up any pose you want and I'll be back. Uh, when that happens, so yeah. All right, so I have the pose ready and um, we're gonna animate this doing a punch. So we're gonna make it smoother. So yeah, um, first thing you just wanna highlight your whole FMR rig and just keyframe it where it is. And we're gonna go to frame five. You don't have to go five frames, but it's cool how it like um, goes fast, then it slows down. So we can turn, now this isn't really an animating tutorial, so I'm just gonna do it. You guys can follow along if you want, but it's probably gonna be hard because I'm going a little fast. So good luck. And make him face this way still. And I'm going to make him throw the punch right here. And this hand is going to cover his face. Whoa. Like this. And. Yeah, so that's what we have. So now we're just going to remember to keyframe everything unless you're doing professional animating which sometimes I do you don't like it'll mess up if you keyframe everything at all times but 
to stay organized, I, when I was a beginner, I usually just keyframed everything to just stay organized, have everything keyframed just in case I moved a bone that wasn't keyframed. It would have uh, intervaled with the first keyframe, which would have messed up the animation, which most people do mess up with the walk cycle. Okay, so that. Okay, that's a redo this one. Hold on, I'm just gonna move this farther a little. So, like this. So you like you just want to um, like the smoothing out part you just want to move it where the momentum goes so like That was like Smooth and then when he pulls his arm back, let's just go five frames forward And he's just gonna go to his regular position again he's gonna Make sure to turn his head with the, as you're going because it's gonna be Harder if you do it after. Not really. I don't know what I'm saying. Y you guys should understand. But yeah, I'm I'm confused. No, I'm not. All right. So uh, let's make him go back to his regular position. I just I just wanted to say something there, but thought it would be confusing, and I just got confused with a bunch of random words. So sorry. And we are ready. So what we have right now. And you see how he pulled it back and he just stopped there? That's because we didn't smooth it out yet. So we can keyframe everything, go to a more longer frame in time. Whoops. And you could hit Command or Control Z to undo. Command if you're on Mac and Control if you're on Windows. So we can go like this. And then we can have his whole body slide back a little bit. A little bit just had to the realism so like that and this wasn't to the best of my abilities because I, I wanted to do it fast for time so uh, yeah that's how you animate well it looks like I did a double tutorial I did a punch tutorial and smoothing out tutorial that's smoothing stuff out but uh, yeah that's how you smoothen your animations out to make them look better and we went through the text we went through the cube and everything should be covered you guys should know the basics now and just practice and you'll get better so that's all i have to say and yeah thank you guys for watching this tutorial hope you guys have a good the rest of your day or night and uh yeah peace like a bird in the sky When he opened his wings of light On by to the beach